This may look like a regular traditional mead, but it's smoking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we'll talk about it. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Meeting of the Minds. I'm Dave. And I'm Krista. So, yeah, this looks like a traditional mead, and basically it is, but it's not. This is a follow-up to the smoked mead that we started, and this isn't even the one you saw start. Mm -mm. Nope. Or is it? I don't think so. Maybe it is. No, yeah, that's what's crazy about it. There was, I, there was something crazy about it, and so here's the thing. You can read through it, number one, but... This is the dollar store honey, which I think is what we showed you guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so look at it though. Look how clear this is. This was cheap honey that we smoked with apple wood. Clear as a bell. Basically off gas. We're going to taste it. We're going to see the picture is here. Uh, we might have to mess with it, see if it needs anything. We'll see, but the bottles are ready to go, and that's what we're going to do. But I want to show you the one that we showed you when we were making this, because you're going to go like, still? Seriously? Be right back. This is the one I showed you that was made when we were making this. Mm -hmm. This was the expensive honey. It's still like, you know, whatever. It's milky, it's clearing, but it's nowhere near as clear as this. This one started on... Yeah, February 21st. This one is March 3rd. You see a difference? Mm -hmm. So it, that's the thing. Different honeys will do different things. Still waiting on this, but we're going to be tasting the dollar store one. So let me put this back. Or at least over here. Well, and like we don't really know if this cleared so fast because of the quality of honey. If it's like not so great honey because it's dollar store honey that it what well, that's the thing we don't know the quality necessarily it yeah. could just be different flowers let me look at the yeast hold on that was the same yeast everything is basically the same it's just whatever there was something else that got a lot of what was the thing went super fast oh the blood orange Oh yeah, the raspberry blood orange. The last video that yeah, like, hopefully you watched. The nothing about where this is is different from anything else I make. Mm -hmm. Like there's no difference in temperature, so there's no there's nothing that should be different environmentally. So it has to be a matter of I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. It but it cleared super fast. It didn't taste bad. The, the ingredients said honey. They couldn't lie to us. <laughs> right, they couldn't legally, not say. <laughs> I guess. I don't know that they might have. But the moral of the story is this was dollar store honey. Applewood smoked. We're going to taste it. We're going to take a gravity reading. We'll tell you what's up with it. So let's yeah, so start. These ones were at the, this one was at the 99 cent only store when i went to the dollar tree their honey was not regular honey like just honey they had corn syrup and all that stuff in that in yeah and the reason we got this because it said it was just honey yeah uh don't know what it is because sometimes you'll do that walk into a store if it's super cheap you go who cares it's probably wildflower or a mix of something yeah what does it smell like it has a smell, a faint smell of like apples. Like it, it's like, it smells kind of like a sizer with like a hint of smokiness. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Interesting. So start with the reading. So we began its journey at 1.104. I mean, with how clear it is, we used cuvee that you used. 14, 15%-ish. Mm -hmm. I hope we get some residual sweetness because it's so clear. I don't want to... I would like this to just go right into the bottles because, I mean, look at it. I'm being so gentle because I don't want to mess up the yeast cake at the bottom unnecessarily yet either. I mean, this yeast cake looks so good. It, lo it looks like a pancake, like a right pancake before that's you bubbling. Flip it, yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go, people. Moment of truth. Hopefully. Ooh, barely. Okay, that's fine. All right. 
still off yes like a little bit it's 1.002 ish all right we'll call that fine we grab some tasting glasses doesn't smell necessarily any different than that <laughs> our little tasters whoop Thirteen point seven percent. Okay. And since everything fell out, all the off gassing I'm seeing is probably just stuff that was locked in there. I don't think it's because the airlock has been. It bubbled once a day for the last three days. Yeah. You can really taste the smoke. I was worried that it would all be gone. Or that, because I didn't really taste the honey after I smoked it, because I didn't want to like necessarily contaminate it by sticking my fingers or something right. in there. So I said, just surprise myself. <sighs> Man. This is super interesting. Like, I don't know what I was expecting. Like, all I could think of was liquid smoke <laughs> when, when I would think of what this what he was making with the so, smoked. Let me give it to you like this. It's like a light oaking, kind of. Like if you've had barbecue, you know what I'm talking about. If you've had smoked beet sands sauce and like whether it be pecan wood or whatever, it's that. There's no real tannic quality to make it super sticky. It is pretty dry, obviously. It's 1.002. I Personally, I wouldn't add anything to this. Mm -mm. I think I, it's done so. I like the, there's like a slight apple flavor that I kind of wasn't really expecting. I know it was apple wood chips, but like to me, it wood chips don't bring out like a flavor in my head, like an apple. Like I wasn't expecting to right. taste any apple. For, for, I, I'm also a barbecue freak, but and that's the thing. Uh, you have to be really aware of what the wood will bring by way of its fruit or nut whatever apple pecan we have cherry and it's it's here like it's delicate the honey was delicate enough and the smoke was strong enough that i think they're both represented pretty good here yeah i for not being a huge barbecue smoky person i think this is really good yeah, like the two points of sweetness and whatever sugars are left in there, I think that's adding a perfect... Like this would be something you'd probably sit like a barbecue sandwich. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking about locally uh, Joe's Barbecue mm -hmm. in Gilbert or wherever your barbecue choice locally is. This would go great with that. And I've never seen anyone do this before. And I, I went out of my way not to look after I had the idea because it wasn't coming down the pipeline of anybody and it hasn't yet. This is something worthwhile. If you, you know, I use a little gimmick uh, smoker that smokes drinks, and I just smoke the honey. You can see it in another video. However, you want to smoke your honey, I recommend it. Yeah. It it slowed down fermentation in some of them, and the rest of them haven't cleared. This one went super fast. I, you know, whatever. Those are gonna slow. It's just gonna happen. It did. I'm sure they'll be fine too. Yeah. But. I can't, you know, I, what am I going to really recommend? Like, buy the cheapest honey you can. But um, I might recommend the smoking aspect of it. Yeah. Yeah. This came out real good. Mm. It's like, because we usually make our traditionals, you know, I assume most people make their traditionals out of orange blossom. Um, this is, you know, again, probably wildflower, maybe yeah. from Brazil. Most of the honey we get when it's, like, not local is shipped in from Brazil. All the cheap stuff anyway. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's what this is. So now I kind of want to do this with like orange and like a local wildflower maybe. Hmm. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. Like it is a... It's... No, whatever. I, I can't even describe it other like just a, a, tr a smoky traditional. Like everything that you would expect if someone said, here, try this mead. And you go, you smoke this? And they go, yeah. And I, yeah, I like this better than when we have oaked things in the past. Because this isn't an oaking. I don't, no. We lost a transference of tannins. And I think that's why I like it so much. Because it is just so light and traditional. Mm -hmm. But you still get the wood because of the smoke. Yeah, I... 
Ten out of ten. Recommend. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. And I was worried, especially since it cleared so fast. I was like, oh, God, what the heck could be wrong with it? <laughs> Turns out nothing. The other three probably just clearing because I oversmoked them because, you know, I was, I, I was winging it every time. This one just maybe did the right amount. But, yeah, if you want to do it, Based on what you've seen here and what you've seen us do, recommend. Let's throw it in these bottles. Yeah, and I will put the link to the video of us making it in the description below. Yeah, it'll have the recipe and everything too. This is more of just like to check in with you guys and see how it went because yowza. I, you know, I was expecting a middle of the road type thing because it was dollar store honey, you know, whatever, 99 cent store honey. I, I don't I didn't expect it to be good and on top of that I didn't expect the smoking to save it if it needed saving, which it yeah. didn't. Mm -hmm. It's good and on top of that, it's like I don't know man, this this feels so like summer barbecue. Um mm -hmm. backyard, like ninety-two degrees, volleyball, freshly cut grass somewhere. Watermelon, sliced watermelon. Like someone is like smoking a full hog somewhere and you're gonna get it at pulled pork in like maybe a half an hour and so you're gonna get a little bit of a buzz going. So you stick your snoot into this every once in a while to like remind yourself of that smoky flavor. Yeah, I, yep, really enjoying this. Anyway, enough of that, let's get this into the bottles. Not that you need to see that, but sometimes it's fun to see. We're gonna bottle it for you. As I was thinking about this too, now as we're getting the bottles and stuff ready, I was like, well, you know, what about secondary? Because, you know, I mentioned in the first one, I'm, as I'm thinking about it now, it's running through my head, should I put an uh, apple secondary course together? And I probably will on the second one, because again, I did this twice. We've got two apple, one cherry, one almond, I think. Uh, I think it's what? pecan. Moral of the story is, I think I will do that with the second one. This is great. And since the apple came through in the smoke, I think once, still holding out for Lucy Roses, if it's, you know, if I can't find those by the time the next one's cleared, probably throw some Cosmic Crisps in there. We'll show you guys that too, just so, you know, we're all in this together. Because if it really works, you guys need to check it out. Grab yourself a bottling wand, it's available. Also, here's the thing too, I find myself more and more like lazy. So the thing they gave you for free with these things that everybody throws away, I assume, because I always do, because they're kind of unreliable, whatever. If you're lazy and it's clear like this, I don't mind using them. Because usually I like to get precious and follow the liquid down, but And there you have it, four bottles of some of the most surprisingly delicious Seriously. mead we've ever made. And again, highly recommend. However you can get your smoke into your mead, do it. I even, uh, you know, toyed with the idea of using liquid smoke before getting this gimmick because basically it's the same thing. It's just smoke and water. Yeah. So whatever. I'm not going to, you know, shame you for the way you can get your smoke into your honey. Do but it. definitely give it a shot. And, it, you know... If you think it isn't going to work, do like we did and buy the cheap stuff. Mm -hmm. Which I'm glad, because now when the expensive stuff comes in, it'll be even better. Yeah. So yeah, give it a shot, guys. Thanks for joining us for this episode and along with us on this journey. We'll see you on the next episode of Meeting the Minds. Cheers. Bye.